Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about using diodes. Now, diodes are just one-way valves. They're very, very cheap. They're just a tiny component, and they're really, really useful in car electrical systems and electronic systems. So let's have a look at one application of diodes. Up on the whiteboard, I've got a simple circuit. 12 volts here, supplied through a switch to a load, that load could be a pump or a fan, back to ground, and then ground takes us back to the negative side of the terminal, so we have a complete circuit. When that switch is closed, the load runs. So that we can tell when the load is running, we've added a pilot light that can go on the dash, a warning light, and that's the light there. It's in parallel with the load, so when that switch is closed, the electricity can go through that light as well as through the load. Great. All works. No need for diodes. Now, we decide we want to add another load that we can switch, a different sort of, sort of load, a pump or fan or whatever. So let's add that other load with its own switch. So we pick up from 12 volts. We go across. We've got the switch for the new load. We've got the new load. We can go back to ground that way. And so when we close the switch there, that load works. When we close the switch there, that load works. Easy. Now, we decide we don't want to add a second pilot light for this new load. We want the same pilot light to perform two functions. Whenever either load is on, that pilot light is also on. You think, hmm, how do I achieve that? Well, I could put a wire from there to there. Now, close that switch. That load is on. Close that switch. The pilot light is on. Great, it's working. The light comes on when you have that load working. Close this switch. The load works. Close this switch, the pilot light works. Great, all working, eh? But there's a problem. It's a big problem. When we close that switch, both loads will now turn on. Look, it goes through that load, and it also goes through that load. When we close that switch, both loads will work. Close that switch, that load will work, but so will the top load. Oh no! We don't want to have those two different loads working, whichever switch is, is operated. We want that switch to operate that load. We want that switch to operate that load. Do we have to have two pilot lights? No, we don't. We can use a couple of diodes, a couple of those one-way valves. Now, let's have a look at the circuit symbol for a diode. So here is a diode. That's the circuit symbol for a diode. It means electricity can flow in the direction of the arrow. So it can flow that way. It can't flow back the other way. So let's add a diode to the circuit. Let's put a diode there, and let's put a diode there. Now, let's have a look at how it works. We close that switch. The electricity can flow through that load. It can also flow through the pilot light. But it can't go that way. It can't get past there to operate the other load. So it can only operate the one load. Close this switch. The electricity can get through and operate the pilot light, it can get through and operate the load, but it can't go back and operate the other load. It's got a barrier in its way. So without a two diodes, the, the cost is, is tiny, and yet we've been able to change the way in which the circuit functions, in this case, so we can have the one pilot light that will turn on when either of the two loads are switched with their respective switches. It's a simple, straightforward example, but you'll often find when you're using switching circuits in cars, uh, when you're doing things of that sort, diodes are very, very useful. I'll give you a real world example. I fitted one of my cars with a custom air suspension system, and in that system, I had to have a valve that opened whenever four other valves were opening, solenoid valves. I used four diodes, so whenever any of those other valves were operating, this other valve operated as well. But the two, the four, the four valves didn't fight each other. They didn't try and switch each other when they shouldn't have been doing so. So in the real world, using diodes, especially in switching circuits, can be very, very useful. A real get out of jail card. And they're so cheap and they're so easy to use. If you're not familiar with circuits, just think of them as one-way valves, like you might use in a, in a fuel system circuit, or a hydraulic circuit, or a, a pneumatic circuit. Exactly the same ideas apply. Diodes, lots of fun to use too. Love using diodes. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems, and I recommend it to you. Thank you.